Up next, Tejo Talks, LG Solar Panels. Hi, I'm Jonathan Green from Tejo, the place where Australians have time and money as they make the switch to renewable energy. Check out our website for more information and subscribe below for more great renewable energy content. We are lucky enough to be standing in LG Electronics' beautiful showroom here in Sydney to talk about everything you need to know about LG and their solar panels. We are also excited to cover off a brand new solar module recently released by LG, the LG Neon H. Plus, we're going to compare it to the LG Mono X, which has recently been reintroduced to the already strong product offering from LG. Now, when considering solar for your home, after a bit of research, you'll notice you won't recognize many of the brand names of solar panel manufacturers. Most of the manufacturers behind the names only do solar panels and nothing else. Plus, solar is one of those things you don't often do more than once. When you consider that the average Australian will live in their home for around 11.3 years, it makes a lot of sense to ensure you make the right decision the first time. So here we are at LG. LG is a huge brand name we all know. Many of us have an LG electronic device in our homes. LG started in 1958, just after the Korean War, to help grow and stimulate the Korean economy. They were then known as Gold Star. Their R&D in, into solar actually started in 1985. And in 1995, Gold Star was rebranded as LG. Fast forward close to 63 years, and they are now one of the biggest companies in the world. In 2009, LG entered the solar market and the solar industry was very excited. Considering the quality of LG Electronics, there was an immediately heavy expectation on LG to deliver high quality panels and they didn't disappoint. LG has quite a few options in their product range when it comes to residential and commercial installations. But today, we're going to be focusing on two residential panels, the LG Neon H and the LG Mono X. The LG Neon H is new to the LG solar offering. It is considered as one of their premium options and one they are very proud of. If you speak to anyone of LG about their new Neon H, they will give you an impressively in-depth explanation on why they're using N-type solar cells, how great this panel is for the Australian climate, and what tests they have carried out to back all of this up. So rather than covering absolutely everything about the new panel, we thought we'd summarize the important stuff and give you some high-level information, which is quick and easy to understand. The warranty. The first thing people tend to look at when buying a product is the warranty. I guess this has something to do with the comfort knowing that if there are any issues at all, there is a replacement coming with no charge. On solar panels, there are commonly two warranties. The product warranty, covering any manufacturing faults or issues, and the performance warranty, which will cover a certain amount of performance degradation. On the LG Neon H, the product warranty is 25 years, which is 10 to 15 years longer than the standard solar panel warranty. The performance warranty is also up there with the industry's best. It allows for 1.5% degradation the first year and 0.33% per year after that. Those figures are absolute and not compounding, meaning it has a guaranteed output of 90.6% at 25 years. Pretty good, hey? These huge warranties are all well and good, but when it comes down to it, the LG Solar Palmer's most outstanding feature of their warranty is the business behind it. There was a lot of trust and confidence knowing your warranty is supported by one of the largest businesses in the world with a strong local presence in Australia for the last 30 years. The module efficiency. The efficiency of a solar panel is based on its output 
versus its size. So a smaller panel with a larger output is more efficient than a larger panel with a lower output. LG solar panels are selling well towards the top end of the efficiency chart. The 390 watt Neon H boasts a module efficiency of 21.2%. The temperature coefficient. The perfect solar panel temperature is around 25 degrees. Each degree over 25 degrees, the solar panel loses output. While it might be a 35 degree day outside, you can appreciate the temperature on your roof could be 50 plus degrees. You can expect an average solar panel to lose about half of a percent for each degree over 25 degrees. Looking at the LG Neon H, the temperature coefficient suggests only 0.33% for each degree over 25. This places the Neon H well into the top performance band for solar panels. Moving on to the LG Mono X. Now, the Mono X is considered as a good value centric option compared to the LG Neon H. The warranty in this module is a bit shorter with a 15 year product warranty compared to the Neon H at 25 years and an output of 87.9% at the end of 25 years for the performance warranty. The industry standard for Monoperk P-Type panels, which is the Mono X, is around 82%. The efficiency is slightly lower, sitting at 19.8%, and a temperature coefficient of 0.36%, which is only 0.003 higher than the Neon H. When it boils down to it, there are some differences between the two panels. However, they both represent very high quality options when compared with their retrospective competition. If you're looking at either the Neon H or the Mono X, you can be confident in knowing you're purchasing some of the very best solar panels by a huge manufacturer with a good track record. And for us, that is incredibly important if you're considering installing solar in your home or business, give us a call on 1300 22 92 92 or check out our website at www.teho.com.au. A final thanks to the team at LG for letting us check out their products and amazing showroom here in Sydney. And we hope you now know more about the great range of panels available from LG. I'm Jonathan Green from Teho. Thanks for watching.